In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix update KB5048667 or KB5048685 not installing or downloading on Windows 11 24H2 or 23H2. So we're going to do the following and it's actually not that hard. So this is the update over here. And in case you're getting this error, which says updates available to download, and then you get this error button over here, this kind of sign with an exclamation mark. What you're going to do is, as I'm going to show you right now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to run the troubleshooter. And the way you can do this is by going down here to the search box, typing in troubleshoot settings, and then you want to open them. In here, you want to go inside the other troubleshooters. And then over here on the list, the fourth one under most frequent is Windows Update. If you can see it over here, simply scroll down and find Windows Update and click Run. After this, if there's any errors with your Windows Update um, kind of system inside your computer, this will fix it for you. Now, that's the first thing you can do. The second one is to look for Run. So go to down here to the search box and type in Run. Click on it. And then now in here, you want to type in services.msc. You want to press OK. And inside all the services over here on the list, you want to look for Windows Update. Now, of course, you want to scroll down a bit until you can see the files beginning with W. And then after you, you find it, you'll be able to find Windows Update. So for me, let me just find it really quickly. It should be somewhere around here. There we go. Yes, it's Windows Update over here. You want to double click it essentially. OK, so just double click it. And over here where you can see the startup type, you want to change it to automatic. So whatever you may have right now, make sure you set it to automatic. Then you press apply and OK. Now, once you've done that, too, we're going to try one last thing, and that is to open up our uh, file explorer over here. Go to this PC and then click the Windows uh, SSD or the C drive, OK, uh, because that's the main drive where the Windows are installed. Now, click on it, double click on Windows. Over here, what you want to do is find the software distribution. So it will be a, a folder called it's this one over here, software distribution. Click on it, double click. And then you want to go into download over here. Look for the shared file cache over here. And you simply want to click on this and then delete it via this button up here. Then just confirm it and that's it. Now in here, there's just some cached files that don't have to be there anymore. And in case there's some of these files showing next to uh, these shared file cache over here, delete those as well and leave these folders in there. So that's pretty much it. Those are all the fixes. And once you've done this, you want to restart your computer and see if your Windows update is now working. So I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.